Okay. Um, my next mechanical question was going to be, I see these Raspberry Pi shields and they have like these rounded corners. You can see that I have like the basic outline for my board shape right yeah. now, but I would like to make it not such a, like a, you know, walk into the corner of a coffee table, sharp, like yeah. type of board. So how would you <clears throat> go about making those curved edges for like the board shape? Yeah, so we can actually do, uh, let's see what layer would make sense to do. Um, could do an outline and do kill two birds with one stone, but uh, I want to show you something else. So let's we can go on to the, I don't want to do dimensions. Ah, screw it, let's do the outline layer. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're just going to draw some lines. And uh, I'm actually going to start it. Okay, and this is also, I want to change this back to less than one mil. Let's do 10 mils. So I want, I want it to be less precise. Uh, so we're going to actually go up to line and just draw. So I just, I just, look, I just started kind of just one square down. Looks like you have nice even squares. And uh, yeah, let's just zoom in. It's a little snap to uh, snap to grid. And I'm gonna end the line there. And I'm just going to I'm just going to start a line here, and just end it. And so we're going to go. Eh. We want to go to arc. Yeah, let's do edge. And like that. And you can change you can change this up a little bit if you if you need to. Uh, you can actually change the uh, various dimensions. You can change it on different light layers, whatnot, um, all that kind of fun stuff. And so eventually what you'll do is, uh, and you can actually uh, adjust, um, you know, how, I think you can actually just, if you want to make this like a little bit more, more, more pronounced, you know, something that kind of, you know, complements the, the curve of the hole or, or something like that. Yeah. And so you can adjust that and uh, so you you don't really want to change like the shape of the board itself, but more so the outline. And the outline is the 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 part that tells the machine how like where to cut it out at, right? Uh, yes and no. Uh, I'm gonna we're gonna actually uh, we're gonna use the outline layer to define the shape of the board. And then that will just uh, uh, define it based on the the lines. And so what we're doing we're, is we're just deciding for ourselves um, where we want. Uh, let's see what I do that too, I think. Oh, three. So I'm just uh, manually doing this. Uh -huh. And so another line, what's that, three. Uh, do you want a do you want a nice uh, rounded corner here? I want it. Yeah, I want to round it. Maybe not that much of a curvature there, since that uh, connector is going to be there. Okay. Well, I mean, actually, if it works, it works. Like I don't care. But this, like this slot right here, is just for the the connector for the uh, the camera. Yeah. So we, you want that to be fairly rectangular. Well, I, I'd prefer it actually for all the corners to be rounded, just so that it doesn't snag on the ribbon cable. Um, I just wanted like the, the curvature of like the corners to be a little, instead of having a radius of three, having like a radius of two or one, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you want this little, little less. No, I want that to be the same, but okay. I want, I want like that notch to have a lesser radius. Oh, like right here. Yeah. Like right there. And on the and, inside corners. Yep. So yeah, maybe okay. like a radius of one or two or something like that, you know? Yeah. So let's just do, hey, let's just do one. Uh, so you can go through and uh, I think this will just uh that <laughs> didn't work. Oh, I just made a new line. Oh, that was interesting. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. No, yeah, that was interesting. Yeah, see, I'm moving the line there. There we go. And we'll just go through. This one should be three. There. Three. 
be we'll change this to three. And go away. Mark edge. And so this is one of those things where uh, you know it's going in the wrong direction, so you just press the space bar and uh, you get it to curve the other way. And click here again, space bar. Space bar, set space bar. Since we're talking about like you know the mechanical stuff, and as you're you're routing these traces. I have a, huh. a Raspberry Pi in front of me right now. And for the mounting holes, like, you know, the rest of the board is like that dark shade of green, right? And I'm assuming that's like the solder mask on top. But for the mounting holes, they have something, you know, around the perimeter of each of the holes. You know, it has like some type of spacing, almost like an, an annular ring, except for it's not electrically connected or anything like that. Like, how would, I guess, what are those called? And how would you get that same effect for your melt, like for your melting holes in the corner? If you uh, understand what I'm talking about. Yeah, just a second. Yep. Apparently I can't draw lines and listen at the same time. <laughs> Sorry. That's all right. And uh, it's super exciting stuff. I actually really do find this, uh, I, I enjoy this, but you know, obviously it doesn't make for good TV. Yeah. <laughs> for actually before you finish up with that as well um at the at the notch right there you have that curvature but you don't have like that predefined at the top of the notch i'm sorry um you see how like where there's that space between that black part and your curve right there is yep. that going to give us an issue no because i'm going to define the board based off of all these lines and then it'll fill that in okay and same thing here it's it'll actually um like chop so, off those like yeah let, let, let me do that let's do that and then, uh yep yeah. then again shift and click and there's probably oh you know what there probably is a smarter way to do this there's uh i think we should probably go to the filters and just click the all the traces on the outline layer mm -hmm. That would be the smart reason to actually do all this on a different layer, but you know, we're close. So we'll just do this the dumb way right now. But you know, again, it's, you know, I guess it's only dumb if it, it you know, it's not dumb if it works. <laughs> yeah. Then we select that. We want to go up to uh, board shape and uh, define from selected objects. Could not find board outline based on center line. Would you like to find using the primitive external edge? Yes. I don't know what that means. And okay, that didn't work. It did the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> this might be, uh, let's try to do it the smart way. So let's do free, let's see, let me track, and let's do am I missing the dimension layer? I think you need to also um, you there. select the arcs as well on your objects list. Oh yeah, thank you. Yeah, see that would be a smart way to, to actually do it. Okay. Yeah, that see now it works. I hit Control A, then it actually selected them. Oh, all right. Yeah. So again, let's see. Find from select out. There might be. Yeah. Find board shape. Uh, let's try this again. Multiple paths from location. But using primitives, if you click no, it's probably not going to do anything. Yeah. Let's try redefine board shape. Yep, nope. Undo that. I said undo that. Come on. No. Undo. <laughs> undo button is my friend. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, the wonder if ah nuts. I wonder if we put it on a different layer. So we let's click select that. Let's go to object inspector. Yeah, maybe if uh, let's see layer. Let's put it on the 
dimensions top. Let's see if that makes a difference. Get shape defined from selected. Nope, jerk. I did it. Nope, eh, just completely got rid of the board. Huh. Anyway, so there should be some, like it might have to do with that, you know, the this weird kind of connection down here. Well, Maybe. I have I have the outline set at five mil and those curves kept on going to 10 mil. Like if you double click the curvature parts. You can see like the width of like the curvature is 10 mil. Yeah. But I have my outline, I believe, set at like five mil. Uh, yeah. Or 7.84, I guess. I don't know. All right. So let's uh, go through and uh, free track arc. Nope. All. Of course, now it's on the dimension layer. We're going to change it all. But anyway, I think we can uh, actually, it won't affect anything. Well, that's certainly a good thought. Again, control A. Hmm. Interesting. It only selected the uh, actual lines, not the dimensions. Good to know. So, width 10 mils. That looks like it changed everything. Yeah. Let's try that. Define from some, uh, create primitives from now. Nah, I don't want to create primitives. No. Could not find board outline using primitive center line to define our multiple paths, which are trying to find the outer edge. No, we know what that does. It said multiple paths somewhere, so maybe there's like a duplicate line somewhere. Maybe. Yeah, because we were, let me rephrase that. I was just kind of screwing around with it. But anyway, you should be able to just draw uh, an outline um, or uh, you know, the, a shape. Maybe we'll just have to play, or you can play around with it later. Uh, but this should work. So, like, if I were actually to go and, um, you know, just draw a circle like that. Of course, we're on the outline layer. And if I, you know, uh, select that, go to board shape and uh, define from selected objects, it, it works. So, <laughs> for some reason, it's not working now. And uh, favorite up button, undo and delete, and reset filters. Yeah, so uh, I'm not too sure. Oh. Yeah, but that's because it's on the like the dimension layer right now. Yeah, and I wonder if uh, if we do bottom dimension layer because all the re all the rest of the stuff it might be confusing some of these with actual. Like what we're trying to do, the board chip, but eh, it was we were we were selecting it. Track work. Yeah, but I think the tracks also count like the straight parts of like the arrow parts for like dimensions and stuff like that as a track, I believe. Yeah, so like maybe we put this on uh, yet again. Let's try a different layer. Object inspector dimension top. Let's uh, dimension bottom. And yeah, let's try that. Jerk. Okay, so uh, negative 1000 to 850. Multiple paths found from that location. Oh, it's, I can. So negative 1,000. So I'm looking down at the bottom corner. You can see the dimensions changing. There's a negative 1,000 to 850. Yeah. It's saying there's a, this guy. All right, let's just reset that. Uh -huh. That's probably it. Yeah. Hmm. That's weird. It's now on a different layer, so I don't know why it would be uh, confusing it. 
unless we actually so let's see can I hide this are you okay if I uh, delete some one of these dimensions yeah go for it let's see it might be go away fine So if I just delete that and delete that, let's see if that does anything what we want it to. All right, eighteenth times a charm, right? Yep. Okay, that's actually selected. Board shape, create. Oh, jerk. Multiple pass from negative eighteen hundred, negative one thousand mil, eight fifty mil. Oh, it worked. Okay. Oh, uh, you know what? I bet it was uh, it was actually defining based off of this one trace, and we were using the out, out, outside edge, so it was eliminating everything from that side, everything from that side. So that we were probably making a a, a trace a a board the thickness of a single trace. Oh, so if okay. I re reset filter, now there, there we go. Now we got it. <laughs> That's what it was doing. It had the, that weird odd trace that was part of, for some reason, um, the actual outline layer. And when you say trace, you mean like a track, like it's not yeah. like so much an electrical connection, but just- uh, Yeah, so sorry. I mean like one of these lines from the dimension. Okay. Uh, apparently it, was, it might've been confusing it uh, with part, or we were accidentally selecting it, or since uh, it was, it, was, um, it might've been since it was actually straddling both of the actual outline that we wanted. Uh, that it was actually confusing it. Uh, let's just actually, uh, I want to just put this on the uh, outline top layer, uh, or outline layer rather, excuse me. Uh, you jerk. Yeah, so when, uh, so just uh, jump ahead. Uh, one of the things you want to make sure uh, that you have is an outline layer. So th this is this is the outline. Um, so that we know, or the manufacturer knows where to cut it. So yeah. we'll just do object inspector, inspector, and we'll put this uh, on the outline layer. Does it map, like, is that something you wanna do like right away as soon as you get your board, like, you know, like the shape uh, of it figured out, or is it like a last step type of thing? Like, does it matter? I've kind of like, gotten into the habit of just doing it as like a last step kind of thing. Okay, I wasn't sure if it mattered, because I mean, I've seen you do this a couple of times before, but you usually, you know, route all your traces first for it uh, beforehand or whatever, and then yeah. you would do the outline. I wasn't sure if there was like a, a necessary progression of steps you have to take. Not really. Uh, a lot of the times, like, you know, obviously with like a, a pie hat, you know, you're, you're building it to within a, a certain dimensions and uh, you're, you're working with certain tolerances. A lot of the boards I build, it's just, you know, uh, I make it as small as I can or maybe, uh, so I'm not really doing any much in the way of particular um, dimensions. So, uh, and it just might be, I don't know, maybe it's a bad habit, but there's no reason you can't start, you know, and say, even before you start importing parts, uh, you can actually define your board, uh, define the shape and uh, all kinds of stuff. Uh, okay. yeah, so just to uh, double check, let's actually uh, uh, see it in three dimensions. So that, that looks a lot better. That looks really nice. Definitely. I think that the uh, nice rounded edges or corners rather looks pretty good.